Yum. Gosh, these things are good. How far do you think we can go? <laughs> I know. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Eat all of them. <laughs> I don't know what happened, Renee. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, these things are just like comes into the room, gets this covered in chocolate. <laughs> We're two lady. We're two lady. You wanna get us started here? Let's do it. Do we want the case file? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you don't want to know what we're I doing? I mean, let's click Just... the whale figurine first. Oh, oh my bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. No. Click the light. No, can't. Light switch. Oh. Current assignment. What assignment? Bess and I are flying to New Orleans oh. for a long weekend of fabulous music, sightseeing, and food. Okay, so I'm also going to visit Ned's friend, Henry Bollet, but only as a favor to Ned. Apparently, Henry's uncle just died, and he had to go down there for a couple of weeks. Ned says Henry's a nice guy, but kind of a loner who might appreciate a little company. So, the first thing I'll do is leave Bess at our hotel in the French Quarter and take a cab out to the mansion where Henry's staying. Bess Ned called him the and said, yeah. Bess. <laughs> Once that's done, it'll be lazy les bon temps pour les. <laughs> the only bad news is the weather's not supposed to be that great this weekend. But what's a little stormy weather when you're in the heart of the Big Easy, right? Right. Okie dokie. <laughs> that guy does not look good. <laughs> Current assignment. Good assignment. I, yes, I thought I that was Henry Boulay. <laughs> oh, <well>, okay. <laughs> um, right. We got this. We don't yeah. need any. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> It's very bright in this room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it shall remain so. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> oh. Don't like that. Bess is like, hell, hell yeah, leave me back at the hotel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going with you. <laughs> oh, cute. Love the wallpaper. Mm. Oh. Stainage. I'm realizing I don't remember this game. Like, I yeah, don't I don't really remember it. it either. Look at the architecture. Oh, Hi, Jesus. the door was open. Nancy, this is where you run. <laughs> this is where you run. Nancy, Nancy. <laughs> Sorry, Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Nancy just got. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pocket sand. Pocket sand. <laughs> Pocket sand. No! <laughs> yeah. Here, drink this. Uh, no, what? thank you. <laughs> what is it? Something that'll make you feel better. Drink it. No. Just a couple it's sips. Like celery juice. No, Nancy. Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Don't make her drink any of your weirdo concoctions. <laughs> then I really will have to take her to the emergency room. You just no, go back to your phone me call to the and emergency leave us room. Be. Yeah, I kind of unknown mind. substance Where in my life. Where am I? You're at Henry Bollet's house, dear, in the library. He and I carried you in here after you're too I heavy. found I you unconscious in the morning. <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? Is that a woman unconscious the electricity and didn't call 911? Lightning yeah. must have struck a transformer somewhere. I do it differently what happened? Out. Can you remember? <laughs> well, the front door was open, so I walked in. Trespass. And then I yeah. saw this, well, I saw a skeleton. It was a man, and Nancy. And then he it's saw me. And then the light started flickering, and this he threw before. something at me that exploded. Uh, princess. Oh, the smoke must have made him pass oh, yeah. out. You saw a skeleton? I'm sure it was just mm -hmm. someone, yes. you know, wearing Are a costume or something. Are you simple? I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. I came to see Henry. So we surmised. I'm Renee Amand. I'm Bruno Bollet's housekeeper. Mm -hmm. That is, I was. This skeleton that attacked you... Perhaps we should call the police. Yes, let's do no, that. No emergency room, no police. Things are complicated enough as it is. Henry's feeling a mite overwhelmed. Well, Same. you are looking much better, so I'm going to get back to my plant garden. <laughs> Mom? You need anything? <laughs> I'll be outside in the garden. <laughs> I'm tired of your bullshit. Them, them on hold for five hours and see how they like it. Juice? <laughs> <laughs> Just take, <laughs> take a little sip and she walks away. Look at those candles. So nice. 
a lovely Ooh. not scary home Ooh. at all look at all them trope Ooh. Mm. okay it's a new game for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> little chaise oh, what a, a library goals yeah i mean with minus the intruder yeah So, Nancy, Quite nice to meet you. Oh, Ned that's... sent you here to check up on David me, huh? David Bowie vibe. Yeah. He's kind of worried about you, that's all. Like, what the Ned's a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I really don't know him that well, just, just from school. But when I mentioned that my only living relative just died, he was all like, Yeah? How you feeling, man? You doing okay? Wanna talk? Of course, I guess I do come across as a little needy sometimes. Which one? It is super weird to, like, send your girlfriend on to a... Uh, Check on a, a distant prison. acquaintance. Yeah. Like, you busy. look pretty busy. Great Uncle Bruno named me executor Bruno. of his <laughs> estate, which means I have to make sure all his bills are paid and debts taken care of so his assets can be distributed. Unfortunately, he couldn't have cared less about little things like keeping records or balancing checkbooks. Dealing with his creditors and their lawyers has been an absolute nightmare. He bad. made you his executor? You two must have been close. Not really. My parents died in a car crash when I was eight. Since I had no other relatives, he took me in. Or should I say he shipped me out? Boarding school, summer camp, military school, college. Check to see if you needed some help, man. <laughs> got a little more into the you, you seem fine. I, uh, I was the one that was attacked. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Nancy. And now you can report back to Ned that I'm fine and go enjoy New Orleans. Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sure can, but I'm not going to. Oh, but until on, I know Nancy. who that skeleton man was <laughs> and ending. what he was doing yeah. here. And Cuts to credit. Yeah. Out like that. Look, I can understand you're not wanting to call the police, but somebody should investigate. And since playing detective is kind of a hobby with me. No offense, but are you sure you didn't just pass out from the heat and humidity or something and yeah. dream that you saw the skeleton dude? Uh, don't go I'm positive. Ghostly. Yeah, right. Ghostly. <laughs> That's something else. Well, we all know that. But I should probably warn you, Uncle Bruno was into exotic pets. Didn't believe in cages, so he gave him the run of the place. And just because he's dead doesn't mean they are. So if you're gonna go poking around, like sugar gliders? be careful. No, like the iguana on the shelf. Did you not see that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a... I always picture cute little sugar gliders. No, I think it's more of the reptilian variety. Are the, they look like butts. They do look like butts. <laughs> Tiny butts. Is he into teeth? Oh. I um, wonder what this will be. Something related to teeth. I don't want to look at the iguana. I feel like I do remember that iguana hissing at you if you got too close, mm. but that could be... False memory. The iguana alarm system. <laughs> oh, low rolling. Is something in the trophy? I think you have no models. That checks out. Can you go to the door that the creepy man was standing in front of? Well, was it a door? I think so. It wasn't this window? Or no, was it this? Yeah. Check out the inside one. Yeah. Okay. I think it was just, it was this room, right? Because it was right when we walked in. Yes. Oh. It was right in this. Oh. The garden. Oh, jeez. Okay. Neat. Neat. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs>
interesting. All the dead people. Hmm. Cool. Two eyeballs, <laughs> but not a clue. A bird. Oh, that looks like an etching, like on a grave. I bet if we go to that building and see what the actual order of those creatures are, uh, we will be able to solve that puzzle. I'm missing something in the library, right? Yeah. Your great uncle really had a thing for glass eyes, didn't he? <laughs> yep. Wore a glass eye for as long as I can remember. Had a whole collection of them. Like to wear a different color every day. That's neat. Get your hand in there, Nancy. Yeah, can we sanitize that, maybe? Yes? Is your great uncle's estate worth very much? I have no idea. Nor will I until I get all his affairs settled. He was a dentist for most of his life, so he must have had some money squirreled away. As you can tell, he was darn good at squirreling away junk. Have you had any of his things appraised? Somebody from a curio shop came in and took a quick look around, but it wasn't anything formal. Why is there an empty frame in the gallery in the other room? Apparently someone stole the canvas. Renee says it disappeared sometime after Bruno died. Mm -hmm. Renee and her juice. Mm. What was it a painting of, do you know? It was of my parents. Mm. I think it was painted in the garden out back. Mm. Renee doesn't like me. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if she took it out of spite. I found this scrap of paper in the fireplace. Do you know anything about it? No. You always go digging around in people's fireplaces? Just looking for something that might tell me who that skeleton man was. Ah. Anything else? Whatever floats your boat, Nancy. Why is there a model of a cemetery in the other room? Because great uncle Bruno used to oversee the cemetery next door. Made that scale model so he could keep track of where everything, or should I say, everyone was. Crafted all those miniature crypts himself. And people think I'm weird. <laughs> Both things can be true. Do you know what this is? I found it in the other room. Looks to me like some kind of tracing. I was thinking that maybe my skeleton man left it behind. Well, I sure don't know anything about it. Anything else? I'll stop bugging you now. Sounds good. Do we want to try to like go upstairs or do we want to go out to the garden? Uh, let's go upstairs. Upstairs? If we can. Time for bin beignets. There's a lot of candles in this house yeah. that are just. I think the power went out. <sighs> I see. It's still the same as. Dangerous. Mm. Oh, that's a hard no. Let's get away. Another eyeball! <laughs> It is very dark. I think this is just a wall. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I right. see now why they were like, play it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Literally. <laughs> God, it's like movies these days. Open up! Open! I'm just not gonna say it. There's something about that red text and font that is stressful. Mm. It's good. It's a good choice. Alright, to the garden. In the rain. Oh, Renee. Oh, yeah, she said she was gonna go out and garden in this. Oh. <gasps> Nancy, nice. welcome to my little lantern lit corner of the world. Oh, do not like. It's a little it's wet a out little here. It's a little wet out here. <laughs> I don't mind. 
No one should mind the rain. Without it, the end of the world would come much too soon. Did you and Henry have a nice chat? Ooh, stir the pot. Stir the pot. Did I detect a little animosity between you two back there? Henry's a very morose, very negative young man. Very cunning, too. In fact, I'm fairly certain that he's been selling off Dr. Bolet's belongings on the sly. Well, that's allowed. <laughs> Would all of Dr. Bolet's belongings go to Henry anyway? Absolutely not. According to Dr. Bolet's will, Henry is to get 30% of the estate. Dr. Bolet's physician, Gilbert Buford, gets 30%. Our Lady of Route 57 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology gets 30%, and I am to receive 10%. What was in that concoction you wanted me to drink after I got knocked out? Never you mind. It was just a little remedy I brewed up on the spot to help you feel better. I am very glad I didn't drink it. <laughs> just full of nanites and tracking machinery. Yeah. If you don't like Henry that much, how come you're still here? I'm here because Dr. Bolet paid me in advance, and I always fulfill my obligations. Have you ever seen this before? I found it by that scale model of the cemetery that's inside the house. It's a mystery to me. I suggest you ask Henry. He leaves things lying around all the time. I guess he figures I won't notice amid all the other clutter, but I do. I notice everything. Yeah. How else may I be of Mom? service to you? <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about the painting that's missing from the frame in the gallery? Very little, I'm afraid. I didn't notice the picture was gone until after the reception following Dr. Bolet's funeral. I cannot even tell you what it was a picture of. If you don't mind my asking, what's in that little pouch you wear around your neck? Things. <laughs> Secret things. Things that give me special talents when special times demand them. Weed. Weed. <laughs> I laugh when I say this, but this pouch is my connection to the energy that powers yeah, the yeah. universe. Weed. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. at least you didn't laugh. I'd better get going. One more thing. I, too, have seen the skeleton man. After Dr. Bolet It, it was passed, a, just a man in a skeleton costume. Yeah. I saw him in the hallway. He was there, then he was gone. So you best be careful, Nancy Drew, because if it was Mr. Death, and I truly think it was, he's come back. So let's call the police. <laughs> we don't do that down here, because I got special power, Nancy. <laughs> My little pouch. <laughs> oh, it's just bone shovel. Good. This would get the galleries <laughs> in her potting shed. <laughs> that should keep you guys quiet for a while. <laughs> what the hell? I've had nightmares like this. I'll just take whatever that was. Okay, Nancy, you flippin' weirdo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I shut down a bunch of creatures. Oh. <gasps> oh, what is what is in there? A spider. Oh. Oh. Give it the give it the give it the apple. <laughs> How can you just you just get the sprayer and spray? It's also just not like that. Oh, oh. What, are we gonna make the, the spider fall asleep? <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider. spider. <laughs> That's not how I would solve that. What is this place? No, we don't talk about no, 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 no. Oh. Wow, this is quite extra. Let me out! Oh, okay. Oh, oh good. Go deeper into the cemetery. Oh! 3D, uh, third person, Nancy. Oh, interesting. I'm afraid. Well, you gotta go find that place with the crypt. Oh, right. 
I don't remember. I don't remember either. What a better way. The tree. Mm. Oh, writhing roots. Nothing interesting here. It's very haunted mansion y. Yeah. Oh, is this it? Maybe. To figure out if there's anything camouflaged in that design, I'm gonna need some paper. Go to staple. <laughs> yeah. Do our own etchings. Okay. Sorrow Park. I think I could have named it like Laser Bear. Oh. I have been to New Orleans and seen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coordinates. I wonder if it's like west, north, south, and you gotta follow it and you'll find something. We're just gonna talk like this the entire time. Tierra. Tierra. Tierra Siesta. She's just soaked to the bone. Yeah, really. Got in the oh, there was a gator. I remember in the model. Yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> I mean, she can run faster than an alligator. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Get on in this swamp. Like, what is this? I'm not sure. Cool. Yeah, that's what he sprayed you with, Nancy. This is all a dream. <laughs> Could be. Good lord, this place is massive. Yeah. What do we... Back at the beginning. Oh, circle. I don't think we went this way. Mm -hmm. oh. Another mushroom. Alright. And it well, there's another one. What? Oh, another mushroom. Yeah. Another one, another one. That spider. <laughs> Nancy's arch nemesis. Yeah. All right. Do we want to talk to him? Yeah, paper. <laughs> you have any games on your phone? <laughs> oh God. Yes. Yes. Do you know where I could find some plain paper? Sure don't. <laughs> Try asking Renee. What's paper? How come your great uncle's crypt is in the garden and not in the cemetery? Don't ask me. It's kind of weird. Apparently, he built the crypt himself, but he never indicated in his will or anywhere else that that's where he wanted to be buried. I stuck his ashes in there anyway and had the thing inscribed. <laughs> I stuck his ass back in there. That's not what he wanted. <laughs> Too bad. Well, that's a little rude. Nice. I'll stop nice. bugging you now. Whatever. Better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Hello again. Do you by any chance have some plain paper that I could use? I most certainly do. Oh. But it's up in my room, and I'm afraid I cannot retrieve it for you until I'm finished here. You get the sudden urge to draw a picture? Something like that. Something, Something like that. that. I know, I'll help you. That way you'll get done faster. Gracious, you are the picture of impatience, aren't you? <laughs> well, I appreciate the offer. But here, why don't you just take this instead? It's an extra key to my room. The paper's in a drawer in my nightstand. Just go on up and help yourself. But make sure you lock the door when you leave, you hear? You I trust. But Henry, him Why I do not. Why would she trust us? I really appreciate this. Don't and long as you're going up there, my appetite could use a little placating. So I would be much obliged if you would bring me a candy bar from my nightstand. And take one for yourself while you're at it. Why do you have candy in your nightstand? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great to me. <laughs> oh, and we got the charcoal from the fireplace so we can do the etching. Perfect. Holy crap. 
Renee. <laughs> I think Renee has a problem. One for Renee. And one for me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm out. Got another one. Yeah. Gosh, these things are good. <laughs> How far do you think we can go? I know. Mm, mm, mm. Eat all of them. <laughs> I don't know what happened, Renee. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, these things are just really like good. comes into the room, gets these covered in chocolate, <laughs> wrappings mm. everywhere, in diabetic coma. Yeah. Gosh, these things are good. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. One more, one more. I can stop it. One more. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 more of these, I'm gonna be real sorry. No, nope, oh. it won't let me. Okay. Nancy knows what to stop. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but, I mean, I want to look down and just see a pile of vomit. <laughs> Nancy, do you know why there's yak all over my bed? <laughs> all over my slippers. <laughs> I, I couldn't say. It was like when I found it, Renee. <laughs> you shouldn't have let me have one. <laughs> I have no self-control. <laughs> uh, uh, golly. Little brouhaha. Hiccup powder. Oh. <laughs> Hiccuping with all the chocolate. <laughs> all that chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, there's puke <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's like someone ate ten candy bars in a row and <laughs> used my hiccup powder and just threw up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> No, eat <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh god, that's so oh, funny. No. <laughs> Renee, help me, Renee. <laughs> There's no doctor in New Orleans, no. Nancy. <laughs> okay. Will you take me to the emergency room now? No, it's too complicated. Oh. <gasps> oh, drawing the designs. Mm. Yeah. Okay. One more. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think Nancy learned a lesson there. We all did. Yeah. All right. Hey, Do you know where I can find some Pepto Bismol? <laughs> you bring me that Coco Kringle ball like I asked. Oh yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so hungry I could devour these plants I'm potting up, dirt and all. How else may I be of service to you? Hmm. Whose boat is tied up down there where the bayou comes up to the cemetery? Do you know? That would be my boat. Comes in very handy when I need to forage for certain swamp-dwelling plants. Those weird symbols on the wall in your room, do you know who painted them? I, I did. Yeah. In fact, the matter is, there's a spirit living in that wall. A spirit? What happens when Got a voice chocolate. that it yeah. sends shivers down the spine of Dracula himself. <laughs> Smoke Used to hear it sometimes <laughs> in the dead of night, half talking, half whispering, saying this one word I never heard before, like it was from a language no one on earth spoke. And suddenly I knew the spirit was trying to cast a spell on me. Mm. So I got me a book and found out that by painting the word I heard on the wall, syllable by syllable, in hoodoo signs, I could counteract the word's power. And you know what? The spirit has not spoken that word or any other since. What was the word? Darling, a sack full of water moccasins couldn't get me to say that word out loud. Nor will I write it down. No, sir. Not ever, ever, ever. I'll leave you to your potting. potting. Farewell. <laughs> She's in her potting shed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I think we can cross. Do we want to call Ned? Be still like, have to do that. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. done. Still have to do that. All done. Check. Can't check that off yet. Check. Still have to do that. Did that. Are they cousins or are they just Jack. friends? Still oh, have to do that. I think he's just like a friend. Can't check that off yet. 
All done. Did that. Oh, call. Oh, Nitty Poo. Okay, call. Can you call me now? Hello? Nancy? Hey, Ned. It's about time you called. Did you make it to New Orleans okay? Yep. Have you seen Henry? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Is he okay? He's fine. Well, he's the executor of his great-uncle Bruno's estate, which he's not real happy about. But he and his great-uncle weren't that close, so he's not grief-stricken or anything. Well, then, are you okay? Other than being attacked on my way into Henry's house by a skeleton wearing a red ascot and getting knocked out by the smoke bomb he threw at me, I'm fine too. What? Let's just say that I've stumbled onto a mystery, and I'm not leaving till I solve it. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Is Bess with you? No, I told her I'd meet her back at the hotel. So tell me about this skeleton man. Well, it was someone in a costume, obviously. He or she was leaning over something in the great room when I walked in and surprised them. So they threw a smoke bomb at you and ran? Yeah, <laughs> must have interrupted whatever they were doing. What were they leaning over? A scale model of the cemetery next door. Henry says his great uncle Bruno made it so he could keep track of who was buried there. Apparently, Bruno used to oversee the cemetery. And right near the scale model, I found a trace of some kind of symbol. I'm thinking maybe Skeleton yeah, Man yeah, dropped yeah, it. Yeah. Why would the Skeleton Man yeah, yeah. be interested in the scale model of a cemetery? Good question. Maybe I'll take a real good look around in there and see if I can find out. Good idea. I'm still trying to figure out how you got to be friends with Henry. Well, we're not best friends or anything. Heck, we're not really even friends. I just feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he never hangs out with anyone between classes. And when I'd heard there'd been a death in the family, I just wanted to make sure he was okay all by himself down there. So Don't call. worry, he's Why fine. Do I need my a girlfriend? little strange, maybe, Scary but weird. fine. That's good to hear. You know, you're a pretty nice guy. Yeah, I know. Is that what we're supposed to take away from this? I would want to say Ned doesn't have boundaries. Yeah. Right after Henry's great-uncle Bruno died, someone stole one of the paintings from his gallery, just took the canvas and left the frame. Anything else missing from the house? I don't think so. At least no one has said anything. Of course, the only people here are Henry and Bruno's housekeeper, Renee. And this house is so full of stuff. Even if something else was missing, it would be ages until anyone noticed. You think the missing painting ties in with your skeleton man somehow? Yeah. I mean, I have no idea how it ties in, but my gut feeling is there's some kind of relationship between the two. Well, if there is, I'm sure you'll find it. Bruno Bolle's housekeeper, Renee, is still here, <laughs> despite the fact that she and me. Henry don't she... really get along that well. Why do you think she's staying on? She it's says it's because Bruno paid her in advance. But you don't believe her. Ten percent of Bruno's estate is supposed to go to her. Only she thinks Henry's been selling off Bruno's assets on the sly. So it wouldn't surprise me if she's staying on so she can keep tabs on him. How much of Bruno's estate is Henry supposed to get? 30%. That's a pretty healthy chunk. I know. He wouldn't be selling stuff on the sly. <laughs> this Renee person sounds kind of paranoid. <clears throat> what this Renee person is, is freaky. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> she wanted me to drink some strange-looking concoction after I passed out from the smoke bomb, but she refused to tell me what was in it. And she wears this weird little pouch around her neck. Says what's inside it connects her to the energy that powers the universe. And she's she probably has an entire harmless. nightstand Standard of chocolate. Yeah. Just in case. And a skeleton shovel. Uh, right. we, we don't need, need a hint. hint. Nothing more to report. Keep artist. me posted. You got that? Got it. Bye, Ned. Yeah. Bye, Nance. What's going on with this? Hello? Bess, hi, it's me. Hey, Nance, I just got back from shopping, which I am happy to report is fantastic here. So, what's going on with you? A lot. A lot is in a whole bunch of fun stuff? Let me start by telling you what happened when I arrived at Henry's house. I walked up to the front door and discovered it was open. So I walked in. Oh. Oh. You were knocked out oh. by a skeleton oh, I wearing forgot about a this. red ascot? Someone dressed as a skeleton wearing a red ascot. Although the housekeeper here thinks it really was a skeleton, Mr. Death. But then, she's a little strange. You think it was a burglar? I'm not oh, sure. Goodness. I caught him or her sneaking around this scale model of a cemetery. 
and later I found a tracing of something right by it. So if I could just figure out what it's a tracing of, and what, if anything, it has to do with that model cemetery, I might be able to figure out who Skeleton Man is. I know that tone of voice. You're not leaving there until you've done just that, are you? Oh, I also found some kind of receipt in the fireplace that may or may not be a clue. What's it a receipt for? That's what I need to find out. See, it's half burned up. All I can read is the receipt number and the name of the place it's from. Zeke's. Zeke's? you got to be kidding me. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I'm sitting here on our balcony in the French Quarter looking down at a place across the street called Zeke's. That's great. So go over there and ask whoever's behind the counter what receipt number 21-3872 is for. You, you want me to snoop? I wouldn't call it snooping. Uh-uh, forget it. Not gonna do it. Beth. I'm not good at that sneaking around stuff, Nancy. I get nervous, my tongue gets all knotted up, my palms sweat to say nothing of my armpits. Beth, receipt number 21-3872. Just go in and ask what it's for. No big deal. Maybe not for you. Beth, you can do it. Mm, this is not going to end well. I just know it. Okay, I'll call you as soon as it's over. I'll be waiting. Spider hole, spider hole.